What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to freeze frame in Vegas Pro 17. First of all you're going to want to import any media that you'll want to do the freeze frame on. So I'm going to click the import media button up here. Once this window pops open you're going to want to navigate to where the footage is. I have had mine in this uh, folder called freeze frame and this is the clip here. It's called, it's called backflop1 so we're going to click on that and then click open and then straight away we're going to drag this clip from the media up here and drop it into the timeline. Now in most cases you'll get a pop up here saying do you want to set your project video settings to match this media. 90% of the time you're going to want to click yes. This just means when you render your video out it's going to have the same settings as the initial video. So in this case, yes, I'm gonna click yes. If you do want to do that all the time, you can select this and it'll always choose the option you pick next. But I'm gonna have that unselected and just click yes. So now if we play this video from the start, just so we can see what we're working with. It's a video of me doing a backflip. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a backflip and I probably couldn't do one now, uh, but we're going to freeze frame this halfway through the clip. So, as you can see, if I make this a little bit smaller, the clip is quite small here, so we're going to zoom in just using the scroll wheel, or you can press the arrows down here, and that'll zoom you in and out. And I'm going to find the point where I want to freeze the clip. So, I could play this and then try and pause it where I want to, or... I could simply drag this along until I see where I want to do the freeze frame. So I think uh, somewhere when my arms are up maybe. Or maybe when I'm tucked. I'm going to say here. This looks like a good spot. I'm pretty much halfway through the flip. So what you're going to do when your cursor is where you want the freeze frame. You're going to simply click S. So this is going to slip the clip in two. So if you want to actually click on one of the clips and drag it. You'll see we are able to move this without it affecting the first clip. You're now going to want to copy that second clip, and it has to be the second clip for this to work. You can either right click and choose copy, or with, or with the clip selected you can press Ctrl and C. Then you're going to click on the end of the first clip and press Ctrl and V. And this should paste the clip here. Now essentially what happens to get the freeze frame, we are going to slow down the speed of this clip to zero. So that initial first frame of the clip will be the duration of the entire clip. So we're going to right click on the clip here. You're going to go down to insert slash remove envelope and click velocity. You should see this green bar appear across the clip. And I know it is a bit hard to see but at the beginning of the green bar there's a little square, a green square. If you hover over this you'll see if you're on the line it'll say velocity. If you're on the green square it'll say velocity at and then it'll say the time and the current velocity of the clip. So you're going to simply right click on this and click on set to 0% velocity. Now you could click on set to and type in 0% but because it's already here we're just going to click set to 0% velocity. And now if you play the clip you'll actually see it has created a freeze frame effect. Now one of the issues with this is the audio is still actually playing in the background as if the clip was still playing. So we're going to remove the audio. To do this you're going to select that clip you're going to press U on your keyboard and that will then separate the clip from the audio. You can see if we select these now, we're selecting these individually as opposed to previously when it would select both on a clip. So you're then going to select the audio on the bottom and just press delete on your keyboard. You can also right click and then choose delete. And there we go. We've now got the freeze frame. So playing that, it freezes and then it'll continue. Now you may already guess to finish the clip off, you're going to drag that last bit of the clip to the end of the freeze frame and there you go there's your freeze frame now personally i do think this is a bit long of a freeze frame for my liking so i'm just going to click on the freeze frame and you can actually just drag the end of the freeze frame down to your desired length so let's have a play of that and just see how that looks yeah that's a bit nicer it's a bit shorter so then we'll slap that last clip on and if we play this clip now You can see it does the freeze frame for a short amount of time and then continues on with the rest of the clip. So yeah, that's how you do freeze frames in Vegas Pro 17. If you did find this video helpful, then please consider hitting the like button down below. If you do want to see more tutorials, then subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to see any other tutorials in particular, then just comment them down below and I'll be sure to make them. But that is going to be it for this video, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.